Hey you guys, we are vlogging from the car today. We are picking up Starbucks and uh, packing up some stuff from my office and taking Daddy to pick up some stuff at Total Wine. And so we're waiting here outside for him to come and um, pick up his wife and his baby puppy and I just want to let you know that it is so nice outside it's like almost 60 outside I'm outside in a t-shirt today it's beautiful um, I just tried the grande chocolate almond shaken espresso from Starbucks and I really like it I like it a lot um, it is you can taste the almond milk but um, it blends in with the chocolate and with the espresso really well. It's actually, it says blonde on the label. So that means that they're using a blonde espresso. And I got the grande because that's like the default Starbucks size and I don't want to make people work too hard. And I know they stock more of the grande cups than any other size just because of it. So it's like, I don't want to make them go like search for something they might have run out of or whatever. They're used to making grande, so I'm like, I'm just gonna make it easy on them. It is really good. Um, and I, I thought that I was not gonna like the, uh, this new cup lid for this. I really do though, it is really good um, with this. It kind of, it kind of uh, allows all the flavors and all the layers of the drink to mix together. I've kind of been like going like this a little bit too. This is what it looks like when you get it. It's a little bit more, it was a little bit more layered for me when I got it. Like almost like they didn't shake it that well. I could taste the chocolate part like separate from the almond milk. Like I could taste the almond milk by itself. Um, but I really think that once you swish it around a little bit it gets better so I would do that like if you're just holding it I, I've noticed some of the chocolate still sitting on the bottom that's probably the order how they add it to the cup um, so I'd say just just kind of swirl it around like this like drink a little bit and then swirl it around um, just getting a text from my husband who's in line to pay yes we're almost ready to go home and start Friday night. I brought home a ton of stuff from work. That box there is like all just stuff I had at my desk for work that I thought I needed. I didn't need it. Um, it's been a year since... It's okay, a little under a year, maybe like a week under a year since I was at the office last and you do not need so much shit. Like, you do not need half the stuff that, that, uh, you think you need, so. I was just noticing, like, it's dark enough out now. It's six o'clock, but it's still dark enough now that you can see, like, our headlights reflecting in the store glass windows, and Total Wine is busy. We are in a shopping center, and you can see like how full the parking lot is. We just drove by Rosedale Mall, and their parking lot is also full. It's like it's like people forgot there's a pandemic going on. That's what I said actually when we drove by. I was like, did they forget there's a pandemic going on? Ooh, Jimmy John's. It's a Jimmy John's truck. I used to not like Jimmy John's, but that was because I thought it smelled like feet in there. And I still do. Like, every time I go in to a Jimmy John's, I'm like, why does it smell like feet in here? But the one in uh, the tower where I used to work downtown was really, really bad. Like, it smelled like feet bad. So. What else is going on today? Today was actually a really good day. I was freaking shocked how good. Um, absolutely shocked. Like, I woke up and I was like, oh, I don't want to work. But then it was like, 
No, that's all right. Like, we went to Sam's last night, Sam's Club, to pick up a couple of things, which was the first time I left the house in almost a week. Like, for anything at all. Like, I'd gone to the mailbox, maybe. Um, and that's it. So, I, I left the house to do that, and, uh, that was all. But it was fun. Um, so, that probably helped. My back hurts after lifting all that stuff, though. Like, that was a lot of lifting. I had to clear out my whole cube because they're going to replace the carpet. So, everybody's going to have to go in and clear their cube. Today was my day to go. I mean, not like, I wasn't like assigned today to go, but my boss bought us all coffee mugs. And I was like the last person that picked mine to pick mine up. So I was like, okay, while I'm here, because they're going to make you do like in two weeks, you're going to have to come in and do it anyway, like clear out all your stuff so they can take apart the cubes to re-carpet. And I was like, why don't I just do this while I'm here? So I just did it. And then I had two giant boxes left um, of stuff. And one of those came home. And that's the one like back there um, and I found a sticker book that I didn't know I had which is really exciting and the other one is stocked away at work for when it's done oh husband all right that might be full of cardboard baby is there enough room for you to to do that we're gonna have to okay do you need help Okay, that was easy.